What's up YouTube? Derek here with Tap and Turn Gaming with a product opening. This product happens to be a Fate Reforged intro deck, or intro pack as they're called now. So this one happens to be the sort of Jeskai color. This set they went with two colors rather than three, but you know, for all intents and purposes it is a Jeskai deck. So let's check out the back. Same thing it says on every one, but for this particular deck it says, Cunning plan. Patience followed by swift action will be your strategy. With this deck, prepare your forces, including creatures with the prowess ability, and then wait for the perfect opportunity to strike. With careful planning, you can win the battle before it's begun. So apparently you have to wait for the battle and then win before it's begun at the same time. That seems like a poor strategy. So let's uh, crack this thing open. So we have the deck, and then we have the booster packs hidden in the back here. And we have the uh, the deck list inserts and the rules inserts, and we can put those off the side because those aren't necessary. So let's get to the deck first of all. Oh no. Oh geez, this is embarrassing. Apparently I'm not an adult, I'm but a child when it comes to opening decks. There we go. No one saw this, except all of YouTube. So the first <laughs> the first card we have is the Foil Alternate Art Sage Eye Avengers. They're a six cost, four five Dijin Monk with prowess. And Sage Eye Avengers attacks, uh, whenever Sage Eye Avengers attacks, you may return target creature to its owner's hand if its power is less than or equal to Sage Eye Avengers power. I happen to like this card. Uh, I don't think it's, it's crazy good, but it's, it's pretty solid. I mean, it's a six cost, four five. And whenever it attacks, you can bounce anything with power four or less, or if you cast a spell five or less. So it's you know it can definitely do some work. It's it's pretty cool. And the second rare is a dragon style twin. So that's that's already a pretty cool rare. Five cost three three with double strike and prowess. So I mean just off those two rares, this, this deck's not terrible. And then to add to the value of the deck, we have a monastery swift spear, which everybody loves. And we have a Jeskai elder, a second Jeskai elder. A Just Guy Sage, and another Just Guy Sage. A uh, Welkin Turn, Just Guy Wind Scout, another Just Guy Wind Scout, Bloodfire Expert, Lotus Path Dijin, another Lotus Path Dijin, Mistfire Adept, Mistfire Adept, Avon Surveyor, Avon Surveyor, River Wheel Aerialists. Got some of the lands here. We have a Swiftwater Cliffs, and another, and another. We have a handful of basic islands, handful of basic mountains. Then we have a Void Snare, a Refocus, a Lightning Strike, another Lightning Strike, another Lightning Strike, Crippling Chill, and another Crippling Chill, Quiet Contemplation, Whisk Away, Arc Lightning, Bathe in Dragonfire, Goblin Slide, Hordling Outburst, Winter Flame, another Winter Flame, and a Wee Fate. I mean, so overall, it seems like this deck just has a you know a handful of prowess creatures and a bunch of spells to uh, you know a bunch of instant spells so that when you go to attack, swing with a couple guys, throw down a bunch of prowess, hit for a fair amount of damage. Seems rather straightforward. But now we're going to get to the the booster packs. The Fate Reforged booster packs. Always fun to crack a pack and get that new card smell. Let's see what we've got here. Soul Summons, Soul Tie, Soul, um, Skull Keeper, Reach of Shadows, Harsh Sustenance, Pressure Point, Whisk Away, Defiant Ogre, Anok, Oinok, Anok Guide, however you want to say it, Alesha's Vanguard, Gore Swine, Valorous Stance, which this card is, is pretty bomb. Orc Sure Shot, Ruthless Instincts, and the rare is a Shamanistic Revelation, and a Dismal Backwater, and a Morph uh, Manifest Token, if you're into that Manifest kind of thing. So let's move these off the side for now. That was pack number one. We're going to go on to pack number two in just a second. So here we have pack number two. Avon Skirmisher, Lotus Path Djinn, Hooded Assassin, 
Ethereal Ambush, Abzan Advantage, Refocus, um, Right Into Being, Goblin Heel Cutter, Map the Wastes, Collateral Damage, Renowned Weaponsmith, Abzan Beastmaster, Wandering Champion, and the rare is a Sandstep Mastodon. That's that's pretty cool. He's probably one of one of my top five to top ten cards in the set. And then the land slot is a Scored Barons and a Spirit Token. So I'd say overall, you know, mediocre between the the deck and the the packs. I mean, I like I like the the two pack rare, uh, the two deck rares, and the pack rares, the Shamanistic Revelation and the Sandstep Mastodon. It's all pretty cool stuff. Nothing extravagant, but you know, fairly cool stuff. But uh, until next time we see, which will be the, the battle between these two decks, I'll catch you later. Thanks a lot.